Does Microgen Diagnostics provide a sensitivity report? Welcome to another Microgen DX Minute. A sensitivity report is dependent on bacteria being grown in the lab, but we know that the majority of bacterial species can't be grown in traditional cultures. And if the infection is caused by a biofilm, as the majority of chronic infections are, then cultures aren't even designed to identify all of the causative microbes. Microgen Diagnostics doesn't grow anything. We identify bacteria and fungi by their DNA in one two-part DNA test. A sensitivity report takes those species which can grow in the lab and tests their response to the presence of antibiotics. But all this test can tell you is if the bacteria in the dish are sensitive to a select antibiotic. This test can't tell you if the bacteria has the genes for antibiotic resistance. After all, genes can be switched on or off. The gene may be present and active in the host when it's inactive in the dish. Or the gene for resistance may exist in a species which couldn't grow in the dish. We know that bacteria can share genes for antibiotic resistance with other species in a biofilm. What you need to know is all of the microbial species in the sample, which species are dominant, and what antibiotic resistance genes are present. Microgen Diagnostics report tells you all of those things. Our two-part DNA test identifies all bacteria, all aerobes and anaerobes, and all fungal species in every sample. All microbes, one test. Our test also tells you the percentage each species is of the sample, so you can target the dominant microbes in the infection, and our test identifies 10 common antibiotic resistance genes, which will affect the result of 40 different kinds of antibiotics. We give you the complete picture. To learn more, visit microgendx.com.